Hello everybody, my name is Reverend Ghost and I would like to welcome you to another commentary on EA Sports UFC. And I want to address, if I sound different, it is because I'm using the PlayStation camera, using the microphone in the controller, because my headset that I've been using is acting up. I'm not really sure why. I've been looking for about an hour trying to figure out what the problem is. And nobody really seems to know the solution. Um, I have the PlayStation 3 just standard Pulse headset. And uh, basically what's happening is the power button light is constantly flashing and it will not connect to the dongle. So uh, it won't sync, it won't connect, it won't do anything. So I'm not really sure what to do with it. So. Um, I haven't really been in the mood lately to commentate, so I haven't been forcing any commentaries. Although, uh, last night I got a good night's sleep, and uh, I'm kind of in the mood to just get some commentaries out. Um, I have a lot of videos that I need to commentate, um, although I think commentary will be a little limited just due to the nature. Um, I'm a little sick, everybody in the house, house is a little sick, and... Uh, Using the microphone on the, on the controller isn't exactly ideal for me. I usually keep it muted, but, um... Usually, um... I wouldn't, like, ignore doing a commentary if I wanted to, but... Like I said, I just wasn't in the mood. And, uh... I want to try to, like, get all these videos that I have saved out before the, uh, next patch, which is supposed to be out before the end of the month, so that's only about a week away. So, um, hopefully I can get most, if not all, of them out. I think I have close to ten, so I, I think... If I get all the fights commentated today, and I get all of them downloaded, and I can get them on my PC, then I think I'll be okay. But, for now... We'll try to get as many as possible. Um, uh, I've been in the mood to play lately. I mean, I know a little while ago I said I wasn't really having a lot of fun, but um, I have been in the mood to play, but I don't want to overload myself with videos because I, um, I record every fight that I play, but I don't keep every fight that I play, so... Usually, if I win the fight, I'll keep it, unless it was boring, and, uh, if I lose, I'll still keep it, unless it was boring or cheesy, so, um, it's, it's kinda, you know, it's, it's what it is, it's just what it is. I won't keep it if I don't like it, I, you know, I don't mind posting losses, I've said before, but if it's not interesting and it's just kinda dumb, then I'm not gonna keep it, so. Um... So on the um, on the topic of the videos, I probably had about 30 fights saved on my PlayStation, and uh, what I've done instead of trying to post 30 videos individually is uh, I've jumbled them all together into like six or seven separate videos, and I'm just gonna call them session runs because obviously. They're all from different sessions. So, you know, I'm going to do my best to commentate over most of them, but I can't guarantee commentary over all of them. But, um, hopefully, hopefully this is going to be part one of maybe six or seven. And, uh, we'll try to do our best with that. One thing that I do want to address is, uh, and with some of these fights you're going to see that I, you know, I show my record, and, uh, I don't usually do that because I don't think it's an accurate representation of skill. Um, I think currently I have almost 700 something, I think it's like 750 something wins to like 360, 70 losses. But most of those losses are um, KO, TKO, and most of those KO, TKO losses are 
due to being disconnected from the EA servers. Um, if you didn't know, if you are disconnected from the servers or quit your match, you will receive a KO TKO loss. And uh, I have notoriously awful connection, so um, a lot of times I'll just get disconnected from my fights before the fight even happens or just during the fight. And it's really bad for people who don't have amazing connection, but it um, punishes people who just quit their matches, so it's kind of a give and take. I'm glad that they punish people for quitting, but I don't like receiving a loss for something that isn't necessarily my fault. I mean, I live at home, I don't control the internet, I don't control our internet speed, and I don't control EA's server reliability, so it's not my fault if I get disconnected. and. I can't help but be a little angry that I have that many losses. I would say a rough estimate, um, close to 150 of my KOTKO losses are due to being disconnected from the servers. It's really bad. It happens to me really often, so it's not it's not ideal, but. It's whatever. I mean, I'm not trying to make an excuse. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not invincible. I've definitely lost my fair share of times, but I, I haven't lost as many times as my record shows. So, another thing that I want to talk about is, um, depending on how I choose to post the videos, um, I'm probably gonna end up posting some fights I had against MMA Monster before I post this series of videos. So if you have watched them, if I've posted them before this one, um, that's a pretty good example of how most of our fights go. Um, we had the fight, um, he was playing Takeya Mitsugaki and I was playing, um, who was I playing? Oh right, I was playing Eddie Wyland. And in the first round we both hurt each other, I think, there was one point where I almost knocked him down, but apparently he was able to block again. And then there was two times where he hurt me, but I don't remember if he dropped me. And then in the second round, I was really giving it to him. And then he ended up death rocking me and had enough stamina to finish. So that's, you know, our fights go a lot like that. And uh, if I, again, if I've posted those videos before I posted this one, in the second part, there, there was a fight where we were playing. That was kind of funny. We were um, playing in a ranked fight, usually with the rivalry, but we were in a party chat talking, and we ended up playing our own season separately, and we ended up meeting up in the ranked fights. And he didn't know it, and I was like, "Oh man, we're fighting!" And he's like, "Oh really?" And we like checked our names. I had to like double check to make sure it was actually him. And uh, in that fight, that was a really good. That was back and forth chick fight, where. Um, we both almost got knocked out multiple times, and then in the end, he ended up death rocking me. And that's a pretty accurate representation of how 90% of our fights go. I mean, I've said before, we, it's not like we dominate each other, but they're, they're always pretty good back and forth, and then somebody gets death rocked, and I'm usually on the short end of that exchange. I don't know why it is, but he just always seems to rock me, even if I'm doing well. So, it's really unfortunate for me, but what are you going to do? Another thing, um, with the new patch hopefully coming out sometime next week, um, I've said before, I'm interested in how people are going to change up the way they start striking. Um, especially, I'm interested to see how MMA Monster chooses to change up his striking because like most of everybody else in this patch he likes to throw a lot of hooks, he'll throw leg kicks and hooks a lot and uh no disrespect buddy, I like you, I like fighting you if you're watching but uh sometimes I feel like you're boasting your record a little bit but when you watch the fights it's just kinda I don't know it's kinda how they go What I mean is, I think we fought 30-something times, and uh, 
I've won like 10 and he's won like 24 or 25. Maybe I've won like 9 and he's won 24 or something. The first like 8 or 9 fights we fought, um, they were like Death Rocks. Like all of them, I think he submitted me like one time. But I was playing somebody with really low sub defense. And um, again, the other time, you know, most of the wins that I have on him are more um, accumulative strikes. Like, you know, second, third, fourth round fights where, you know, the, the damage accumulates and I just end up eventually taking him out. And a lot of the wins that he has over me are, again, those Death Rock flash knockout situations. And um, we have really good fights. I'm not trying to say I don't like him and I don't like fighting him. But it's just the style that he plays. It's It lends itself to the way the patch works now and the way the striking works. And um, I feel like that's why I get rocked a lot because he's just he throws a lot of volume. But there's not uh, there's not a lot of variety to it. Again, I'm just I'm just stating facts. I mean, I've posted many fights of him beating the crap out of me, and I've posted many fights where I did the same to him. I mean, obviously, I said I don't mind losing, but again, it's you know how the fights go. So I'm I'm interested to see how him and uh, other people in change up their style because I've said before that uh, I feel like I want to I don't uh, follow what everybody else is doing and uh, I don't think anybody else really strikes in a similar fashion that I do so I'm just I'm really interested to see how people are going to change it up so this fight is almost over which means part one is almost over. Hopefully I can get some more commentaries out. Um, I commentated on this fight, or this video, excuse me, more than I thought I would. Again, the PlayStation camera is not ideal, and uh, the quality of the audio doesn't exactly sound amazing to me, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to commentate, but I want to get many of them out, as many as possible, so... This is the end of the fight. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you enjoyed. This has been Reverend Ghost. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.